Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, De Denise at Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, I'm um, so pleased to be back with you again. I am uh, doing well and I hope you are, it's still a very very hot day here in uh, Lincolnshire in the UK, in fact I believe it's very hot right across the UK because I see lots of people <laughs> on uh, Facebook and various other, all the social platforms saying the same. Yeah, so definitely in the UK we are struggling with the heat. So we're back for um, some work on the uh, William Morris junk journal. Um, it's going to be a two signature hard cover. The, hard, the cover isn't here because it's still uh, downstairs where I set it to dry. Um, sort of a grungy, not too grungy, but a bit of a grungy journal. Um, and I've got one signature here um, that I've done all the stitching um, on that I want to do and put the bits of lace and things on and um, the other one is still waiting for that. I've inked this one, I've half inked the other one, but it's getting very, very hot in this room now. So I thought, time I did the, um, time I did the video and <laughs> went downstairs. So yeah, I spent most of the morning waiting for a plumber. So, you know, doing bits of housework down there while I was waiting. So I've had a busy morning and then, um, yeah, just waiting for him to be done and gone, bless him. It was, he was sweating buckets up there in the uh, in the loft because it was very very hot as you can imagine it's um it's well insulated up there so yeah but he fixed it we just needed a new valve on the hot water tank so done and dusted i'm pleased to say um but yeah i'm late with my videos again now but never mind i've uh, stuck a pin in my finger i've stubbed my toe made both of them bleed so <laughs> I cannot say how this video is going to go. We might end up, uh, you know, with a third accident or maybe I've got them all out of the way. Anyway, less chatter, more work. So I'll just um, go through with you uh, what I've done so far. I can see that I want to trim something down. That's why I've just got the trimmer out. So they're not necessarily staying in this order, but I, I kind of sat and put them in an order that I liked them. So down this one, you've seen all the pages. I shared all the pages with you um, in a previous video. If you've missed that, you can pop back and look. It's always there. So I've put one of those um, uh, ruffles that we, well, that we were going to make that we folded and I've sewn since. I've, I've sewn it onto the page. Just on some lace on one of the pages. I put this lovely blue trim. Now it's nicer the other way because it hangs down and dangles and I have got it in a few colours that I got from, uh, you know, <laughs> bits of fluff. Um, yeah, I got from a car boot haul. So I don't know, I might put some of the other colours in. But if you remember, I, I was wanting to put some some hints of blue in and that really is a blue there. So yeah, I coffee dyed these pages um, on the back or coffee dyed, sprayed, you know, just made them interesting. So you can see a little bit of the colour may have run here and there on the front because I just have an inkjet printer. So that's fine. It adds to it, I think. So just one of the lovely journaling pages. Now I've put quite a bit in here but you know we need some plain pages too a few um, if only to put the lovely pockets and <laughs> envelopes and things on uh, that we've made or yeah Violet sent me so yeah so don't be fooled by the bare pages they won't necessarily be love this fabric so this is just a piece of um, fabric again it was in an old um, sewing box that I bought so it's vintage um, and I just stitched it on it was all you know creased and what have you so I just kind of stitched it on hickledy pickledy to keep the effect lovely colours though um yeah I just open the camera. I just um punched out the edge of that uh, nice strong book page again this one's been coffee dyed and sprayed on the back can't can't stop playing with those sprays now I've got them let's trim this while we're here so I folded this music page over I didn't want to cut anything off it um I think what I'm going to do is put a well I've decided I'm going to put a fold out a, what do you call it a flip out to put journaling paper on it so we'll do that in a minute I didn't really want to cut much of anything off to be honest with you because I want to use all the papers it's still a bit big I wonder if I can cut some of that bottom one I don't see why not Yeah, so I folded the back page, um, not all the way to the centre because I didn't want it huge, but I folded it in to make a pocket and I did think about stitching it, but I've got a lot of stitching in the journal, so I think I'm going to stick it down with something 
um, I could stick it with uh, lace or washi or other fabric I could stick it down with material from um, fabric uh, paper <laughs> images that's what I'm gonna say from the kit I just haven't decided yet um, I might put a, a die on there now I've got so many I'm the proud owner of many right so where was that in there so yeah that'll have a pull out a flip out flip out German spot on I think if we attached it to that it'll pull out like that won't it <clears throat> more of the kit page that's that lovely avocado like I say don't be fooled by the plainness you know don't you? if you know me you know it won't stay plain long there's some beautiful um, vintage fabric that I've just stitched on there a doily now I was thinking in the middle I've got this stack here I know you've seen these because I put it up earlier I mean that's beautiful isn't it I don't really want to part with them but I know <laughs> I was gifted them to use and that is such a beautiful envelope it's that lovely shape there yeah I think that might be I mean often when I put the envelopes in I like to put this bit of them in can't even see how you've made that is it just glued down no it's folded over somehow I'm sure oh yeah I can feel it's folded over oh it's got a flap in the middle so I can't do that so maybe not maybe I'll fill a pocket with it um let's put that lovely die cut back in it yeah I think if I'm putting a an envelope in the middle I need I want an open one I mean look at these was a beautiful I know you've seen them earlier um gorgeous can't just can't stop looking at them all something something will go in the middle before we sew it in which I'm hoping to do tomorrow yeah I'm hoping to get the signatures in tomorrow if all goes to plan so that we can start working on it so that's some lovely fabric pieces happy mail gifted to me thank you very much and um, now William Morris was all about fabrics and um, tapestry embroidery you know as well as colours and artwork and now it's just messing about there cutting a couple of holes um i just thought the stitching round might enforce reinforce them a little bit and i might have a fabric flip on there so that you lift it up and then you you've got like a a binocular view ho hole view hole <laughs> to see what's behind it so i've just stitched that on like a side tuck but i don't know that it will be you can use it as one or you know we might put something in it but um yeah lace tends to bag a bit as, as a side tuck so you see the lovely stitching on the back there oops and the final piece has got a piece of that lovely blue fabric with the pink flowers on it okay so there with the exception of something in the middle there the pages so let's do that flip out um on the music page <coughs> because these are all things that can be done before we stitch the signature some things have to be so like the um, you know sewing the lace on and things that's why the signatures are not stitched yet apart from the fact that the cover's not ready but I think I'm going to put them on a floating spine so you know like a hidden spine right which way do I want this to pull out I'm thinking I could put both of those I mean I love that so this is still this is music page and this is music paper i probably didn't mean to tell you that <laughs> um thinking it would be nice to, ha nice to have the two there and then how would they if they were on there let me just they'd go over like that wouldn't they so they'd have to then how much room have I got let's get everything centered they could then fold back like that couldn't they is that too much shall I fold it and see oops I hope you can see what I'm doing I know my hands might be hiding it all so I'd kind of like those to stay 
separate like that and if they're just attached on there then we can go that way and that way right so let's just ink around find my ink yes i'm making it up as i go along as usual <laughs> but uh, often these are the best the best ideas are you know the best videos because unless it all goes terribly wrong it's quite nice to see the process <laughs> sometimes it's nice to see the process if it all goes terribly wrong but not for me <laughs> so i hope you're all well and don't know what you're up to i know people in the uk are just trying to stay cool <laughs> doing the best with life and feeling so sorry for neil in this heat and uh, anybody else who's is out there earning a crust um, but yeah nice nice uh, weather for school holidays and i know as a teacher i would be when i was working i would be reveling in this this weather i did used to love it hot i've taken it off and i don't know what i was doing was it that no it wasn't that was it <laughs> lost was it that was that it Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think that was it. I think I can take it off there now as well, can't I? Because I'm I'm fight, fighting with a lot of pages. I thought there was someone at my door then. It's somebody knocking next door. Um, yeah, I think that's all right like that, isn't it? Let's get this inked then. I only did half a job doesn't show up so much on this one because it's uh, whoops it's coffee dyed anyway there we go nice noise <laughs> crinkly crunchy um right so i know i want it on there but I want them to stay separate. I want to be able to open that there so I don't want any glue on this side or this side. So I want it to open the other way. So I only want glue on there, but then will these two open separately or not? Right, I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm either being very intelligent for me here. <laughs> cooking on gas as we say I'm thinking if I do this one on top and that one underneath I might what's the worst that can happen I've got plenty of this music paper uh, book page and I've got plenty of coffee dyed papers so let's see let's see if my brain's worked it out properly or not because what I'm thinking is if I now glue this one on this piece, no, it won't pull that way, will it? Unless I put another crease in it. Let's do that. Oh, I don't want to lose all that lovely ness. <laughs> so if I just glue that, it's like a hinge, isn't it? Sorry, I didn't itch your nose then. Then it will fold over like that. No, but it won't go over the edge of that paper then. Or it will if I fold it in a different place, which I could do, couldn't I? Let's um, ink that and then I can see exactly where the fold is. I hope I haven't lost you. I've lost myself. <laughs> but obviously, it would be nice if you know what I'm doing. Then one of us does. Whoops. And that folds back there like that. That one's working fine. Yes. <laughs> this one, I'm going to glue down there. Yeah, I think I think that'll work because it'll keep that separate from that. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. Is that what they say? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me at all. But yeah, it's a saying. So you will now fold Ooh. that 
that way. You're going back that way. So all you, oh, you will, you will fold. Don't know what's up with me. It'd be nice if it was in line with that one, though, wouldn't it? A little bit, anyway. Okay. What do we think? <laughs> no idea. Ah, uh, that whole thing wants to be down on there, doesn't it? Now, yeah. So I'm losing a bit of it, but not too much. I could have done that as a very slim pocket, but I won't. I'll give it a bit of sturdiness. Yeah, my glue was a bit bunged up earlier. To gum bunged up to the point that I pulled the little head off my um, pin that was keeping it in. So I pulled the pin to pull it out and now the head came off and the, the other bit stayed in the bottle, would you believe? So I'd be warned. <laughs> yeah, so I've lost a little bit of that under there, that um, journaling. So does that now, now pulls it Oh no it doesn't, they don't both pull out, they should, we just need to, uh, but they pull out at different sizes is what they do. Well you can't say it's not interesting, let's try it in the book and see if it works I guess. If it's too complicated for the book we won't put it in. It's just nice to sometimes have something a bit different. I'm loving that blue tassel definitely and that pocket I'm just pretending that I don't know it's there until I get to it oh this is interesting how does this work oh yes mm. yeah I think that's quite interesting when it's um you know dolled up as we say <laughs> and it's got a few interesting bits and pieces on it might want their own tabs on yeah a tab on each might uh, give it some interest I'm just wondering if I can reach them I don't think I can uh, no they're over there I really must get my self organized well I've got my housework done <laughs> for most of the week downstairs this morning so um, yeah maybe I'll have time to get up here organized now yeah might do something with that as well that corner bit what do you think? A little tuck pocket. That's quite nice actually. Yeah. Does it still work? It does. Shall I stick it down? Yes. Ink it first, Denise. Because you'll never be able to do that afterwards. Something interesting in there. Perhaps one of Violet's lovely tabs that she sent me. And it will be interesting to um, embellish that as well. Can't wait to put some of those little teeny tiny envelopes down that she sent me as well. Yep, yeah, okay, so I'm pleased with that. So, um, all I want to do now is, because Violet sent me so many lovely things, I don't need that many more pockets, I need to um, do these two still. This, a couple of those, and um there was something else oh yeah and I, I wanted a couple of torn pockets hopefully um there's a few die cuts i don't know what i've done with those now that i want to put in that violet sent me last time so this is one from a, the stash that she sent me previously which i have been using slowly but i thought i'd better use some of it up oh the window is sucking my uh, curtain out stop it <laughs> goodness me i'll have to sort that out in a minute um Yep, so I'm going to pop that in and um, these two circles are going to be a double sided look, they're going to be in it somewhere as well. So I don't know, I might have half one on, on there, let's see. Let's put something in here, shall we? Um, yeah, a couple of torn pockets I would like and then I'm done. Um, am I too high up? Yes, I am. I've been playing with this as well. So this is one of those window frames that she sent me and I now know Violet where all those beautiful little corner <laughs> squares came from. I'm so daft sometimes. I bet you were all telling me. Obviously they're cut out from the windows. <laughs> um, so yeah I just put it on a, a piece of this 
lovely paper and you know just to see if I could stick it down and cut out the windows that I can yep so I'm going to do something on there I don't know what yet I was just playing as you do um yeah and that might go in as a flip out or something soon but what I want to do is um no I only got one of these and two uh two signatures but I have got a green one of these somewhere haven't I but I really wanted the William Morris uh, envelopes in the middle but they're far too nice to undo so they're going to end up in a tuck or something oh am I ripping yes I'm just opening it to see because I've got thousands of these if I if I rip this and it's no good yeah I have yeah I certainly have so maybe if I open them before I glue them yeah so what I'll do is I'll open I won't use this one I mean I use the paper from it I'll open a couple of those maybe the green ones and um, ink them up and put those in the middle of each so I'll move that to one side let's get let's get on with these so um a little bit of collage everybody everybody loves collage um and I've got these beautiful scraps from well these double-sided ones from um violet and do you know what I think I'm going to make belly bands with those because they're beautiful and they're double sided and they're on really quite silky nice silky paper so yep I won't use those I've got plenty uh, of my own scraps she says I'll have to take this off a minute and grab them because they're behind me there we go to collage with well I don't know if they're scraps but they're the papers so we're gonna have these oh I've lost a string off that one I have we're gonna have these this way um, and probably yeah probably fastened down although they could be hinged I might have them hinged if I hinge them that would make nice um, journal spot wouldn't it yeah we'll we'll uh, do it as if we're going to hinge them right that one's got a hole cut out of it and that one hasn't did i do that it certainly could do with a hole cut out of it let's see i still haven't got my small punch yet this one's quite chunky new no i'll have to wait until my small one arrives and maybe go in and and put a hole in it that's the smallest one i've got right um Where's that from there? Collage. What shall we start with then? Decisions, decisions. Um, I don't know if these are going to be journal cards or pockets. And that might make a difference as to which way up I like them. Right, I think we've got a lot of pockets, haven't we? So I think I'm going to make them journal. And as if by magic, there they are done. I can't, I can't believe you. I told you something else was going to happen today. Can't believe it, I should say. Yeah, I just looked up. Um, I was just going to stop the camera and grab some book page. I just looked up and it wasn't even filming. So I think it must have overheated because it, it's filmed up till this point. Um, but yeah, I, sp I spent a bit of time collaging and deciding what I was going to put on these. But there they are finished. I was about to start them with you. Thank goodness it wasn't the whole video. I'm just assuming it's the heat. It's all, it's all I can think. There's, there's lots of space on the phone. Um, I empty it every time um, before I put a new one up so yeah don't know what happened there sorry guys but um, that's them done so I was about to do something on this uh, on these and oh gosh my uh, my legs ache now so I'm not going to be here too much longer because it's it's hot <laughs> and I've been sitting here a good a good 15 or 20 minutes more than uh, it would appear to you so I don't know what I want on here. I do know I want a bit of book page um, against, you know, to put the, um, ee, what's his name? <laughs> to put the William Morris um, images against. So um, I think I've probably got enough there. Just enjoying myself digging through now. Stop. <laughs> oh, there's this lovely um, stamp catalogue part of. 
be nice if there was a William Morris page in it, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, just going to take a page out because I quite like the the writing there. I don't particularly want the, although I don't mind those, the images of the stamps. Now we've got this little thing to to work around as well. Um, you know the the circle for the closure. Um, yeah, my my brain's a bit hot and frazzled now as well. Um, I was going great guns up, I kind of stopped stopped me in my stride, and now I'm I'm struggling to get going again. So I quite like those. Let's have them and then see what we can do about that. Maybe just go one side of it and under. What do you think? Will it go under? Oh, you will. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Um, so I just want a bit of will. Old will. No. Um, I'm loving this this embroidery page like I say I mean I don't know what you heard now and what you didn't <laughs> it was all about the embroidery and the textiles I think I said that earlier on will you go under there do you think yeah. a bit further <laughs> I could have done with it down there though, couldn't I? I think it'll still be hidden, let's have a look. That's better. How much are we hanging over? See if we can get it all in and then I won't have to cut that edge. <laughs> well this is a first. Oh, I went a bit far, Denise. Trust you. Yeah, definitely went too far. Never mind. It's craft so it can show. Let's have that out of the way. Yep, so let's I'll do the top when I've done it. Let's ink and stick. And I think the cream one needs to go down first, doesn't it? This one. <laughs> it's a good shape. I'm just getting that little birdie poking his head on, as well as that lovely red flower that I like. There. Um, yeah, we'll put them on with this because we can slide it about a little bit. I don't know how, I, how high up we're going. I'm definitely ready for a cup of tea. Um, yeah, it's too hot to, to eat, I have to say. I'm not, I've not been eating a lot, although I really will have to because of my tablets. I'm trying to eat um, red meat, would you believe? <laughs> Which is definitely not me. I am not a meat eater. But I think it might be having a bit of a an effect on me because you're all right not eating red meat you know if you can eat green leafy vegetables because you get a lot of the same vitamins and minerals in in those as you do in red meat um, which are good for your blood aren't they but of course I have to restrict my green leafy vegetables to some degree and I think I'm feeling the effect. I think that's why I'm tired quite a lot. It's just me self-medicating. Nobody said it to me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, as you know, I'm not a huge... I don't dislike meat. and I like expensive meat. I think that's probably the problem. I only like good, expensive cuts of meat. So, so yes, I'm having some beef for my, <coughs> for my tea. Excuse me, cup in there. I have to say the caravan did my cough the world of good the fresh air 
um, the day we went I was really bad I was really coughing um, to the point that it was you know I was starting to think I was it scared you a bit doesn't it Matt? I was getting a bit breathless and oh and yeah within I don't know 20 minutes of being there on the coast it had gone and I just felt a whole lot better now I know it could be could be psychosomatic <laughs> Neil's always telling me that I am a bit of a once I start thinking about an illness I start scaring myself <laughs> I am a scaredy cat on the whole you I'm not the right shape now I haven't put you back where I should have let's just see if I can nibble a bit it was just a bit but it's nibbled it's not hanging over the edge now which was what was offending me so yeah my cough's been better and uh, we are wondering if you know the carpets here are quite old we gave them a good clean when we moved in and like I say Neil hoovers them within an inch of his life <laughs> all their life and he's always uh, always at it oops cheers stand up I like that do I want something there maybe a where are those lovely little stamps at um, my friend Tanya sent me one of those up there might be nice oh that's nice look it's got the pink and we're going for the blue <laughs> the blue again <coughs> I do know it's very dusty in here in my um, in my craft room and it's not that I don't dust I've taken to wet dusting it now I do dust it and we do hoover it a lot it's uh, I think it's just the nature of crafting it creates cutting paper creates a lot of dust that and having the windows open I've said before yeah I like that I like the pink with the pink I like the hit of blue um what are we going to do about the flap do I want something across there it just wants kind of a, a little bit of something but nothing much and I don't think it's William Morris I want and it's not that so what it's oh, what about a stamp let's stamp something on it um oh maybe we won't I'll put all my stamps away that will be a yes put all my stamps away boo okay rather than stop the camera again because <laughs> yeah I don't want to go there let's have a look what we've got in here oops all oh, these lovely doilies what about a piece of doily and I got a coffee dyed one they're all white oh we can still do something about that can't we and um, that's <coughs> now I'm talking about coffee and you see now I am Although I think I'm dry from, I've got a cold cup of tea. Let me just have a look at the mug. <laughs> I'm in tune with what I'm doing. <laughs> Piece of that one. Right, here I go. Can you hear the magpies? It's not very loud, but it's quite distinctive. Oh, I might like that the other way. Yes. Let's get rid of that. Oh no, that's a fastener. We can't get rid of the fastened bit. Yes, I like that. Oh. Just a little bit of frilly on the lid. <laughs> the flap. Yeah, I still might just have a little bit of um, text. Is that where I had it? Where did I have it? That seems bizarre now. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I might have a little bit of text stamp there when I do get my stamps back down. Or maybe a little floral swirly something. Okay. You've not got long, so get yourself in place properly, please. Oh no. Stop dragging your feet. That's it. We're in. We're in. Yep, like that. Right, I need to speed up a little bit, don't I? Because I've got another one to do. 
and again I don't want to do it well I didn't tell you but with this one I didn't want to make them the same I wanted two different ones because they, you know they're going in the same hopefully maybe possibly <laughs> well, there's a lot of words there going in the same uh, book journal gosh I can feel the glue all over it mate <laughs> oh anybody else <laughs> all over my fingers Come on, come on, come on. It is me. <laughs> it's not, it's nothing else but the way I do things. I know that. I'm a bit gung-ho. Right, so let's just go with the corner this time rather than getting it a bit... Oops. Oops, I still need to go under a little bit, but we can cope with that. Yes, I like that. And then I might just go in opposite corners with a bit of... William. I'm going to go. Mm. Yeah, I am. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Again, what's the worst that can happen? I've got plenty of this paper. I won't cry. I might just turn the camera off and leave. <laughs> but you wouldn't know. Let's put that bit down where we want it first. And then lift that up. That's it. See what's so bad. I think I might just ink that in green. <laughs> I did. And that's okay. Let's move it though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find some string for this one as well, aren't I? Right, what do I want to look? So let's try and use some bits up. <laughs> This is a piece of um, India violets, of course. I hope that's not going to go on for a long time. <laughs> that could drive you slowly mad. Sounds like a house alarm, I might be wrong. I don't know, I don't understand the house alarms. I don't know about another places but around here people just seem to ignore them <laughs> I've known house alarms be going off for you know off and on for days you're not here but other places I've lived and it's like well what's the point of them <laughs> if nobody's going to take any notice anyway oh dear. wasn't far enough over just just so um so close what about some washi let's have a look um i don't want to use the gold i use that so often oh i've got this lovely it's got gold on it but it's that lovely lilac it go with that it's just let me just have a little I don't really like it across there no that's not what I want um no what have we got here oh don't I bent my bee's leg don't do that I want to use you soon um I don't know, I'm just having a little... No. <laughs> no. Did lots of little teeny tiny scraps today. Well, it's a bit 
pretty can't read it behind there, isn't it? Mm, you can't really. Oh, Ooh, maybe up there. Bear with me. <laughs> we might have managed it. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I think you can tell what that says, can't you? Let's use it. I mean, it's going to get lost now, isn't it? If I put it back in my box that size. Oh, I'm desperate to go wash my hands now. I didn't bring my, my face cloth in with me today. I have washed them all. I used three last week, <laughs> last time I did it. So and they're all ready to come back in. I won't use them for my face now. <laughs> I use them a bit like um, hand towels, guest towels. But not for guests. Oh, that is stuck. Go on then, go over the edge. That's how you're feeling. I wanted to slide it in, but yeah, because, you know, with germs and COVID and goodness knows what about now, I don't like to leave my towels, you know, out for more than a day, really. Once we've been out, come home and washed our hands and used them, I'm, I'm kind of like, put them in the wash. You know, so a flannel doesn't take half as much washing. <laughs> I say, yeah. Uh, I like that. I want some string on it, don't I? Did I have some? I had some reds kicking about, but I bet you anything, I can't lay my hands on it now. It was in my way earlier. It was just some red embroidery thread. Who knows what I did with it? You're not in there, are you? Well, there is some string in there, but it's not what I want. No, no. I've thought about it. I want red embroidery thread on it, so. When I'm tidying up, I'll find it. So we made those <laughs> together. I'm just looking for the other things. I made these while I was talking to you. I've only got one now. <laughs> How can that be? Well. <laughs> you were destined not to see these, weren't you? No, nope, don't know where it is and it'll turn up as soon as I tidy all this junk away it will turn up so yeah I'll put a picture of it on there and we oh we made an interesting flip out sort of thing page will it flip if I pull both yeah it will and we had a look at the signature so I hope that's enough for today I hope that's kept you interested so yeah we'll get this hopefully get this signature stitched in tomorrow and um Start, start adding, making it chunky. I hope you all have a lovely evening and um, I'll see you sometime tomorrow. Bye guys. Oh, give me a thumbs up if you can.